Mr. Kern, my name is Christian Zerone. I lead a creative production firm that specializes in the wristwatch space and I come as a friend. In fact, this is my Super Ocean Heritage, a watch that I hold very dear to my heart, just like the bee on its dial. Let me start by saying that I admire you. In your five-year tenure, you have done wonders to restore Breitling, which, in my opinion, is not just a service to your shareholders, but to watch history. Through your drastic catalog improvements, you have brought the brand out of the rubble. The teams uh, you've entrusted with mechanical innovation and design have served you well, and I commend them. What's missing, though, is messaging. While I truly admire your personal willingness to serve as a face of the Breitling brand on social media, as I've seen you many times, uh, I can't help but to notice all of the large missed opportunities on the storytelling front. I know that you've seen large success over your tenure. The Breitling name is legend, and that paired with your current uh, quality of production and design is clearly working in a very large way. But Breitling messaging fails to resonate with audiences, specifically with watch lovers. Mr. Kern, I can't remember the last time someone without decades old history with the brand told me that the Breitling name meant anything to them. And in contrast, I hear that about your competitors all the time. So how did this happen? Either A, you didn't make this a priority in your corporation, or B, the teams that you entrusted with this priority have failed you. Now, that is not to say that you don't have some brilliant marketers working at Breitling. I wouldn't know. But if you do, they aren't being heard. I've built a business providing this service to corporations, most of all watch manufacturers, endearing their products and stories to their consumers. In the two years since launch, I have had no luck signing Breitling as a client. In fact, you're one of the few watch manufacturers we haven't been lucky enough to work with. So I took matters into my own hands. In June, I began development on a commercial for Breitling without your team's consent. I treated this project as seriously as I would for any paying client. I spent over $15,000 of my own money to develop it. To demonstrate my team's ability to storytell and to move the watch community, to make them more likely to buy into your brand. We spent a week, two hours north of LA with the subject, one with celebrity clout, I might add, because he embodied the Breitling spirit in a unconventional and powerful and inspiring way. The Breitling spirit is one of betterment, competition, often against oneself. It's snatching victory from the jaws of defeat, something we all aspire to do. I sent the commercial when it was completed to members of your team and I was ignored, but I released it anyway. And let me tell you, the audience response was remarkable. I mean, I implore you to find a comment section anywhere on the internet in reference to modern Breitling that is filled with so much passion and love for your brand, filled with so many relatable stories. I mean, it was beautiful. We made the community feel something, which is, after all, why they're going to buy something. Now, the purpose of the address isn't to bill you for this work. It was, it was a gift to a brand that I love. I have a distaste for bureaucracy, and I have built much of my, albeit short, but successful career off cutting through it and working to speaking directly with, with leaders, with decision makers like yourself. I started this address by saying I come as a friend. Let me tell you why. On February 7th, 2013, a man that I loved picked me up from school and drove me to a Breitling boutique. He wanted to try on this watch. And when he did, his hands shook. He brought me because he knew that I was the one person in the world 
that could push him to make what would be the largest and most emotionally important purchase that he'd ever go on to make. And he did. I will never forget the smile that was on his face when he purchased this watch. I don't think he was ever larger than he was when he put it on his wrist. The watch, the Breitling, represented years of hard work and perseverance through turmoil and sacrifice. He was my uncle and he passed away in 2017. And this Breitling has remained on my nightstand since. Maybe I'm a fool, but I needed to create something for Breitling. I wanted to inspire the passion that he had for this brand in other people. I want to be a part of the reason Breitling is loved. It means something to me. It means a hell of a lot more than the time and money I spent on the project. So if nothing but a virtual handshake comes of this open letter, I'll have been glad to have been heard. But I implore you to capitalize on the Breitling story, with or without me. It's a rare asset. I congratulate you again on your success. You've certainly earned it. But I have to ask, is it enough? Is it ever enough? Do you not want more?